Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we are making Timothy from Thomas and Friends. So he is an oil burning tank engine, and he works at the China Clay uh, Company along with Bill and Ben. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to say because he is a relatively new character. But I thought it was a—he looks like a cool character to build. And um, this is also not the Timothy uh, some people have requested, like a the ghost engine, and that's from like a fan fiction. So I'm not going to be building that, at least for right now. Only stuff from the actual show. So anyways, let's get started. So um, as you can see, you can barely see his wheels. So uh, we're going to build them first because they're sort of hard to get into. So let's get on your tracks and make a T-shape with the gray concrete like this. Uh, another T for the other wheel. And then there will be a gap of, let's see, one, two, three, four. So four blocks. One, two, three, four, and another T. Let's remove this in between. And you can connect them. It doesn't really matter since you can't really see the bottom. Well, the rather the top of the wheel. Only the bottom. And let's add stone brick uh, stairs to the bottom corners. I don't want to place that one weird. And the back. Then let's do the front. All right, now we're going to take out a stone brick slab and just add it to the sides. Just connect the wheels together like that. And it's going to extend uh, two blocks in the front like this. Then we're going to take some more of that gray concrete, add an L shape in the front, both sides like this. And I suppose this connects to this wheel and this is like a bar. So I uh, just skip a block, add another gray. Then put another gray right over here, like in the middle. You can see it lines up with the middle of the wheel. And then in the front, let's add red wool. Just make a W shape. back uh, we'll need to get to that later but let's add uh, pistons in these holes put a lever in the middle pull it down for uh, the buffers and we're also going to take a stone brick slab add three in the middle underneath then let's add a dark oak fence gate I believe yeah just right underneath the pistons and open them up. Then we're going to go ahead and take out our lapis lazuli. Just connect everything together. So just fill up <laughs> this entire layer up with it. All the way to the back wheel. And this is just for the sides. Um, yeah, this layer. All right, next, let's add some more flooring. So just fill up this part with the gray concrete. So we make them all, we don't want like a pit to fall into here, so. And that goes all the way to the back. And we're also gonna extend uh, this back section. There's like this little weird shape um, so that goes up. So just add like an L shape with the lapis. And the back, let's add another W with the red wool, leaving uh, gaps for the pistons, which we're going to place in like that. Well, not like, oops, <laughs> that's the wrong direction, like that. And lever in the middle, pull it down, uh, put our stone brick slabs three in the middle, and then our dark oak fence gate just opened up right underneath the extended piston. All right, next, uh, let's add one more stone brick slab on the sides, right under here. That actually does connect to each other, so fill that in, and also uh, gray concrete in the middle right there. 
All right, next, uh, let's take out um, another brick fence, add that above this piston. Go to the back and do the same side like that. Then we're gonna take out gray again. Add three in the middle, in the front. And then we're gonna make it so that it is six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in the middle. Then we're gonna use lapis lazuli and add a two block tall a wall. We're gonna skip this middle area, however. Just two block wall. Leave the front alone, because that's where the face is gonna be. And uh, this section, we can make it a wall. Just make it the same height as the rest. All right, good. And we can take out a stone brick slab. Add the middle part. Let's get like two blocks. And then lapis lazuli. And then two more slabs. And then we're gonna take out a gray concrete. Fill in this middle section and it's gonna pop up like that. All right, then we're gonna go to the front and add a plus sign with the gray concrete. For that, a quartz plus sign. And let's add quartz stairs in the corners of it. And the one behind, we're gonna use stone brick stairs. And right here in the middle, we're going to add uh, some lettering. I forgot what it says, but we're going to use yellow wool, three blocks long, both sides. And above it, we want to use a uh, blue carpet. Then we're going to fill in this middle area with the lapis lazuli blocks, like so. And that can go all the way back to the cab, make this wall a bit taller. And let's add the smokestack. So uh, two more great concrete blocks right here in the middle with a slab on top. And then two slabs in the front uh, like that for his lantern. And we're also gonna place an item frame right there. Bam. All right, and then we're gonna take out left Zilli again. Put that right here in the middle and above that uh, another brick uh, fence, and then we're going to take stone brick slab, add two to the sides, and then we're going to add lapis lazuli, <laughs> go right over here, skip three blocks, and then make a pillar, make it as tall as the other side, and actually one block taller, so like this, and we're going to have uh, four of these <laughs> sticking up for his roof area. He has a pretty open cab. Uh, we're also going to take out a red banner, add it to the inner part. So I believe this is like some kind of a curtain <laughs> which is a bit unusual to see. But we will add that and this model he actually doesn't have it in this corner so let me add it. Uh, so then we're going to take out uh, Lapis Zuli again add a border around the back like this then we're going to take out this what is this gray terracotta that's what it's called but I think it looks brownish so you just add two blocks right there both sides and then lapis lazuli around it and the back layer we just fill that in we're also going to add a lantern with the quartz block in the middle with redstone torch in front of it and then we're going to use lapis again and try to add like this little slope. It's kind of like the top quarter of a circle, so just add a 2x3 lapis azuli here. You can also fill in this uh, part down below and add like a wall right here. And uh, this section actually has like a cylinder, like a little tank. I guess that's where the oil is stored. So for the tank at the back, we're going to use uh, spruce wood stairs. Try to make a cylinder, which holds uh, his oil probably. So the first and the last one, we're going to use spruce. 
while the middle we'd use uh, acacia because there is like two orange stripes it's minecraft so i only added one so that kind of fills that in and then we're going to add lapsuli add a row on top connecting uh, the cab together for the roof in the middle of the roof we're going to use uh, stone brick slabs just fill in this area and the sides we're going to also add one of them just drop down by one slab like this and the other side then we're going to use a uh, gray carpet just fill in the top layer making it all the same color alright so then we could add some more detail in the front uh, just take left silly just add one here and skip two blocks in the middle add another one same thing on the other side so just these two then we're going to take an oak fence, just put that on top of the first one and one in the back here. Then we're going to switch it up with the oak wood fence gate and just add two of them like that. Same thing on this side. It should look like this. If you heard like a saw in the background, sorry. I can't help it, this is happening outside. Yeah, there it goes again. I don't know if this mic can pick it up or not, but it's going like, you know. It's a bit annoying. So then we're going to take a acacia wood slab, add it in the bottom corners. And also on the back as well, bottom corners. And let's add the rod that goes across. I chose to use uh, stone buttons, just connect them in a line. Just these two wheels together and the other side as well. And then we're going to take a fence, I mean not a fence, a ladder, uh, to act as a ladder actually. Just place that right there of the cab, both sides. And let's check to see if we're done with this. No we're not, we got to still work a bit on the back. Try to make this semicircle better. So put a um, slab in the middle on top and then stairs on the side the corner like that so you can see kind of like juts in like that we're also going to take red carpet I'll put it on top of the buffer area in the back and also in the front so that's about it on how to build Timothy in Minecraft I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time Bye.